Hello everybody, how are you doing? Um, today is the time for one of our next fast autobahn or long autobahn range tests. Um, as you know, we're doing those tests in real life conditions, driving the cars like we are normally driving. We're usually not taking under consideration that we're having an electric car because we want the electric car to suit our driving habits and not to drive uh, like yeah, the electric car behaves best. Um, that means usually that we, um, at our long road trips uh, to a business destination or whatever it is, um, or the next video shoot for the next car, um, we're driving at 160 constant speed, um, as far as it's possible, of course, on the autobahn with um, cruise control and on the other hand we are reaching top speed at least once to try out the top speed because this is usually our normal let's say driving habit on uh, on a longer drive and today we have the i4 m50 with us um, which is of course a very interesting car because it not only has um yeah 544 horsepower with boost but also um considering that sound here delivers a very emotional acceleration and um, yeah sound perspective which which I really like um, power pull through is very instant that's that's very nice but of course today it's not about only acceleration but about a long, long distance ride comfort and range we're starting off with 98% state of charge um, I have reset the counter from charging the battery is not completely preheated uh, today we have 12 degrees outside temperature and the car was sitting in the city and I just went to the charger to put the last percentage in that we start with almost 100% but the battery probably does not have the best let's say um, yeah, preconditioning. Um, that would be, of course, better if you set the timer or if you um, have a wall box at home and, and pre charge the car. But nevertheless, without further talking, um, yeah, let's head out. Um, follow me on this trip um, to our fast charging destination. We, of course, will also find out how fast it charges once the uh, once the battery is down to 10% or 20%, something like that. I want to see the charging speeds and i um, really excited because I really, really like this car. It feels like a normal car. It drives like our M340i, but with electric power. So um, seems to be the best of both worlds. Of course, we want to have some fun. So let's do acceleration to top speed. Um, in sport boost mode, which gives you the full power. And a top speed of 230 on speedo. Very nice. And the car is so stable at those speeds. Oh my goodness. This is a great vehicle. So we're now reaching the first 100 kilometers um, with 29 kilowatt hour um, average consumption and 62% state of charge. I have to admit that this, let's say, consumption is a bit lower than what we had uh, with the other cars at this point, but also my average speed is a bit lower. So we're only about a bit more than 100 kilometers per per hour at average speed. I think with the other cars that I did a bit higher speed. And also this battery is not too big. We have to remember um, we have um, uh, an 80 to 84 kilowatt hour battery capacity, which is a bit more than the Kia, but smaller than the other ones. And I will show you the car from the outside just for a, a quick second here. And um, and we're further on, so it's no, no need to stop, but I wanna show you the car from the outside. First of all, we have this very nice frozen blue paint, which looks really, really good. Probably the party piece of this car are those rims, um, specifically at the rear, the 285s come out very, very wide. I, I really, really like that. And also this car has the carbon fiber pack um, outside, which has carbon fiber right here. You have it at the, um, at the mirror caps over here, those nice M mirrors and uh, in the front right here uh, which which is really nice it also features the m tech pack which is enhanced cooling and the m brakes of course laser light uh, is in here and yeah without further talking i guess let's head further on 
see how the consumption in range is. So we're now reaching the first 150 kilometers at 44% state of charge. As you can see, it's raining. Um, not the best conditions for an electric car because you have water in the air brings in resistance and there's also some traffic going on which slows me down a bit from an average uh, speed perspective um, of course we want to keep everything safe um, nevertheless the consumption with 29 kilowatt hour on average is pretty good i would say um, it's, it's saying it again it's a bit lower than the other cars that are tested up to this point it's still raining a bit uh, and we're now reaching 200 kilometers average speed is a bit more than 100 kilometers maybe in the direction of 110 and state of charge is at 25 down to 25 percent and yeah i think there's another two uh, 25 kilometers to our charging station and we will of course find out how fast the fast charger pumps up this uh, 80 kilowatt hour battery so with 233 kilometers um, on the clock for today, um, we are reaching our charging station with 10% state of charge left and a consumption of 29.6 kilowatt hour, which is the lowest consumption that I had with the car on this route. And I think now that we reached also average speed of 115 kilometers, um, that's also comparable to what the, we did with the other cars. Um, saying it again, this is of course kind of summertime. Some other cars were real wintertime conditions, so that might make a difference. But nevertheless, comparing it to the Mustang Mach-E GT, for example, and also comparing it to uh, the Kia EV6, um, this is a good this is a good overall consumption. And the aerodynamics of the car, he is not paying attention the aerodynamics of the car pay pay off and um, it's getting quite busy here but we will charge it up and i show you the charging speed in just a second so one first observation is that there are a lot more electric cars charging here um, than there were a few months ago or a year ago you can really see that they're getting more and more um, more than 50 percent of the charges are blocked even at the autobahn and we now hooked it up at 12% state of charge, you have seen it. And we're going up to 204 kilowatts. Um, that is a really, really good charging speed for this car. It definitely pays off if the battery is warmed up uh, coming from the Autobahn. So yeah, you really use case you're driving on the Autobahn fast. You want to do a fast charge. Uh, we will get inside, get a coffee, come back in a few minutes. And that really, really helps. Um, yeah, 206, of course, that means within a few minutes you can recharge a lot of kilometers. After 25 minutes um, we have reached 10% to 70%. Charging speed is down to 78 kilowatts. Um, but something that I um, just checked is that the Tesla over there is only charging at 52 kilowatt as well. Maybe that's due to the sh uh, small charger with not the full power. But interestingly enough, this, this is a very, very fast charging car. And um, yeah, after less than half an hour, we are more or less down from an almost empty battery uh, back to 250 kilometers of range. And I, th I think that's, that's something really, really good. So consumption overall was very good. Maybe even the best that we had so far or the lowest that we had so far. And also charging speed is amongst the highest and on, on Kia speed, let's say. So um, yeah, good overall package and looking forward to your comments. And as we upload more com uh, content, of course, acceleration video is going live very soon as well.